Hey, what's up everyone? Pile Down Reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a speaker by Grand Max called the Tweakers Go Rock. Now, I've reviewed other speakers by Grand Max in the past, such as the Tweakers Vibe and Tweakers Clipper. And uh, what Grand Max basically is, is a small electronics company that specializes in miniature speakers that play with your mobile device, such as your phone, and uh, also laptop or computer. And most of their products that I've reviewed in the past have been pretty solid for their price. Um, these speakers in particular are $40 and can be found on their website. Uh, and they're one of the most uh, expensive speakers that they have on their website. The packaging to the GoRox is that annoying plastic packaging um, that requires scissors to get open. On the back here you can see some statistics about the product including that it uses Bluetooth 2.0 which is an older version of Bluetooth. Uh, also the output power is 4 watts so each speaker has 2 watts in it of power. Uh, also the battery is 500 milliamps since the uh, speakers are wireless which should give you 8 hours of playback time. Another important to note is that it has super bass technology, which doesn't actually mean anything. Um, it's just purely marketing. Inside here you can see a carrying case. You've got an instruction manual that basically tells you how to pair the speakers to your phone uh, via Bluetooth. You also have a USB to mini USB converter here to charge the speakers. The GoRox are well designed, though they do feel really cheaply made given the plastic that they're made of. On one of the speakers here you have an auxiliary port you can directly plug your phone into or you can use the wireless Bluetooth feature of the speakers. So you have two different methods you can um, play your music. There's also an up and down power button switch as well as a pause and play button. Uh, on the other speaker you have the on and off button and then you also have your retractable cable which is a sign signature feature of uh, Grand Max speakers that I really like since you don't have to keep track of cables. Um, and you just plug that into the other unit. Turn it on and you'll see a light flash on one of the units and then you can be in, uh, you can pop up the bass chamber here it adds a little bit more bass to it um, also one of the features that I don't like though about the speakers is that this cable is also used to charge the speakers so you cannot charge the speakers and play at music at the same time um, and this is a negative because um, usually by charging speakers uh, it gives a little more power to the bass itself so you might be missing out on a little power there. Each device has non-slip pads on the bottom of them to help them not slip away when the bass is rumbling while they're playing. This helps to a certain degree. They also magnetically attach to each other, which is another unique feature of the speakers. Now I'm going to play part of a music track for you guys to give you a general idea of how the speakers sound. I'm going to start the volume at about 50% volume and then work it up to maximum. I think it's time to snap. Snap. Snap, I think it's time to snap. Snap, snap, I think it's time to snap. On the beat, we'll laugh at defeat. No, no fake shit, this is that. Hey, yo, I'm snapping, bro, bro, back in the booth. Found my bitch, never acted a fool. This rap shit, yo, what I'm casually do. Put my soul in these tracks, yeah, it's true. Every single day, man, I'm out here trying to get it. Coming for the green, I ain't talking about no lettuce. Took a long time, but they finally give me credit. MOB, yo, money is my fetish. I'm snapping, dead now, I'm a step ahead. Yeah, I'm moving on up like the Jeffersons. Now the Tweakers Go Rock do use Bluetooth 2.0, which is an older version of Bluetooth. Um, and typically with the older versions of Bluetooth, you lose more in sound quality when you pair it up with your device versus uh, the newer versions. Um, I think right now they have Bluetooth 4.0. Um, but anyways, um, the loss in sound quality with these speakers paired up to my phone were not that noticeable. And what I did notice in uh, loss was uh, basically a little bit of volume and uh, a little bit of bass and sound separation. But again, it wasn't such a big deal. Also, since these speakers feel cheaply made, I thought that they were going to perform poorly in my sound tests, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. In terms of performance, the GoRox performed well for their size, and distortion only occurred at about 90 to 95 percent volume, typically on the bassier or more busy tracks. Um, and they did fill a small to medium sized room with sound, so they would definitely be best for a bedroom environment. Besides the GoRox build quality and the fact that you can't charge them while they're playing, my main qualm with the speakers is their price. Now don't get me wrong, they're great speakers and they perform well for their size, uh, but for $40 I would expect more features, better build quality, and uh, a more powerful system such as like a 6 watt stereo system versus the 4 watt stereo system that these are. To justify recommending these speakers, Grand Max would either need to lower the price to about $25 to $30 or uh, go back to the drawing board. Um, so that's it for my review. Thank you guys for checking it out. As always, if you got a question, you can inbox me or comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next review.